Teresa Freed with Johnson County Government. It's our goal to stop the spread of COVID-19 in our community. We also want to make sure you have the latest information on our efforts. For data on how COVID-19 is impacting the county, visit our dashboard on jocogov.org. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Lamaster, local health officer, public health officer for Johnson County. A question that's come up is, could face shields be substituted for the use of masks? So there are two parts to this. One is, how and where do face shields fit in? Much of the guidance that we have in place are based on large groups of studies that have been summarized into something called systematic reviews uh, that give us the, the overwhelming um, amount of evidence pushing us towards whether a particular type of protective device has an effect to reduce transmission. Most of the studies that we're looking at have been focused on masks and social distancing, other measures. We are using face shields specifically in healthcare situations as an extra layer of personal protective equipment, PPE, over and above masks when our healthcare staff are in a higher risk situation. So for instance, if they're doing testing for a patient who's suspected to have COVID, then they're wearing a face shield, plastic face shield, over, um, over a mask in addition. What we encourage people to do is to think about what they can do to reduce the risk of transmitting unintentionally to other people if you happen to have the infection and don't know you have it. If you are asymptomatic, then you don't want to transmit that to your loved ones, friends, or colleagues. Wearing a face shield keeps the whole of your face open for any kind of uh, your breath to circulate out along the side. Wearing a mask reduces that some more. There are some types of masks who reduce that reduce it much more. We encourage you to think about those additional types of things that you can do to reduce your risk further. For instance, having an additional amount of distance between people also reduce transmission. So there's a great drop between zero and one meter apart and between one meter and two meter apart that even drops further. Uh, less drop off after you get beyond two meters to three meters. So we know that there's a good evidence for social distancing, for staying six feet apart from other people that will reduce your transmission to other people but we recommend that these things be done together. So wearing masks plus keeping that social distancing increases the effectiveness of what you're trying to do to prevent transmission. For more information about COVID-19 in Johnson County, visit jococov.org forward slash coronavirus. You can also subscribe to a daily e-newsletter with the latest data and precautions being taken in the county and state.